Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Redmi Note 11 Pro and 11 Pro 5G. For that we will need the pre-installed file explorer. And we will find this one on the second page here and this is how it looks like. Okay, just tap on it. Uh, by the way, for the very first time you have to allow some stuff. Um, but you can do that, it's no problem. And then it should look like this here. Okay, on the top, by the way, we have a very nice overview with all our images, videos, docs, and so on. You're on the phone, the phone organizes it by its own. Eh? Very nice. Okay, but to transfer data, we will need this line here. And here we will need the icon, which one looks like a folder. So tap on the icon, which one looks like a folder. And then you will have an overview of all your folders, which one are part of the internal storage. Okay. For transferring data, if you want to have more space on your internal storage, I would recommend to you to start with the photos and videos you did with the camera because this kind of data is taking a lot of storage, basically. Okay, you will find them here at the DCIM folder. So just tap on the DCIM folder. Then we need the camera folder here. And here you will see all your photos and videos you have done with your camera. So now, just mark the photos or videos you want to transfer here. If it's many, not like me here, I have just a few, but if you have many, you can also tap here on the top to select them all. Okay. If you want to deselect something, like in my case here, the wall folder because it's empty, um, then just tap on the marked one and yeah. Okay. After you have the chance now to move them. Or if you tap on more, you have also the chance to copy them. But I want to move them because then the phone is transferring them uh, directly to the SD card and delete it automatically here on the internal storage. Okay, just go on move. So now you can choose the place where you want to move it. Yeah? Then just tap on the SD card. So now we are on the SD card. And uh, I have, by the way, on my SD card already uh, some folders. What is good for the overview? I really recommend this to you to have um, here some uh, folders already or to, to create folders to have a later a better overview, especially for your pictures and so on. If you don't have a folder, by the way, um, just tap here on more to create a folder. Huh? This is better, as I said, for the overview. But as I said, I have already an existing folder, the DCM folder here and also a camera folder here. And if you're in a folder, you want to transfer your pictures in, just go here on paste. And now the phone is transferring your pictures and videos to this folder. Okay, let me go back here to the uh, internal storage because I want to show you something more. By the way, you can use also this little arrow, arrow here to go directly to the internal storage. Huh? Um, because you can do the same thing what we have done with some files, we can do it also with folders. If you long press a folder, you can also mark some folders. Huh? Also, you can transfer the full DCM folder like this. Huh? And same thing also go on move and you can transfer it to your SD card. Uh, but please take care that you don't uh, touch the system data, no? operating system data like the MUI folder here, because uh, you can damage your system. With, no? So just take only folders which one contains only uh, files like photos, videos, documents, uh, and so on, but no operating system data. Yeah, I hope um, I could answer a question here with that uh, video. Uh, but I want to show you also something else, because if you Go now um, on the camera and go here on the hamburger menu, so the three lines. Then you have also the chance to go here to the settings. Okay, and on the settings, you can set up your um, priority, where the future pictures and videos should go to. No? Now it's uh, still going to the internal storage, but if I enable this point here, save to SD card, your future pictures and videos will go directly to the SD card. Uh, and then you don't have to transfer the files and so on always um, later again. So you can just enable this uh, one here, save to SD card on your future pictures and videos 
uh, you have done with your camera go directly to the SD card. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer a question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And you have created also some other videos if you're interested in, or maybe just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.